In this lesson, you will get an overview of the Topic Discovery tool, including how it does what it does and what it shows us. And in the next lesson, we'll go into how to use it. The main purpose of the Topic Discovery tool is to assist with the research phase of your content creation process. This is a powerful tool that enables you to get a really good grasp of your market in just a few minutes. Here are some of the things you can do with this tool. Understand your target audience's needs and interests. Research your competitors' actions in the market and quickly spot opportunities like new surging ideas or needs you can then target. Come up with a list of topics for your content plan based on your chosen keywords. Getting a deep understanding of your target audience is an essential part of ranking in Google today. The more you can understand your audience's pain points and needs, the more you can address those issues with solutions. Put simply, the more you know about them, the more topics you can cover. And that is what boosts your topical authority and what makes Google see you as an expert on the subject. Remember, Google cares about EEAT, experience, expertise, authority, and trust. Okay, now let's talk about the mechanism behind the topic discovery tool. When you enter your seed keyword, WriterZen searches the top 100 search results that Google returns for your keyword. It then scans through the entire content of all 100 competitors. WriterZen then filters out all of the headlines and subheadlines from those results in order to figure out how many competitors are covering certain topics and subtopics. From this data, the tool then presents you with your competitors' performance data grouped into topic cards. As you can appreciate, there's a lot of computing going on in the background to provide this data. And there's more. The tool presents you with all the available data on Google, such as headlines to consider, related Google searches, and Google Suggest Insights. From that point, you can delve into all the insights derived from the search intent of users. OK, now let's put all this into action. From your dashboard, you can access the Topic Discovery tool from the navigation menu. Alternatively, you can go directly to the Topic Discovery card, where you'll see a list of all previous projects. You can click any project title to revisit it. Or if you're researching something new, you can simply click the link to create a new project. In the Topic Discovery main dashboard, you're presented with a search bar where you can type any keyword that you want to explore. You can choose the language and location of each project if you need to. And save that as your default if your target market is generally always the same. Below that, you have a history table where you can see all previous topic discovery projects created in this workspace. Click any project title to revisit its results. If your plan includes the team function, you'll see an additional field for the owner of the topic research. And just so you know, your search results will expire in 30 days. This is to protect you from outdated information. Google's results are highly fluctuating at the 30-day mark, so if there's a gap between when you did the research and when you actually create your content, the only way to ensure the accuracy of those results is to start again. To research a topic, enter the seed keyword into the search bar, set a location and language if different from the default, and then click Search. Your research will be saved and available from the history table. For this example, I'm going to pick a topic from the history table. Let's click Nutrition Plan. Here you can see a list of 42 topics when the relevancy is set to medium. These are the topics we need to cover in order to build up our credibility as somebody who has expertise in this subject. In the next lesson, we'll take a deep dive into the results and go through some recommendations to help you get the most out of your research. I'll see you there.